Hey, what's going on guys? Here's another video of uh, the my GL450 2010. Now the recent issue that I've been having is my AC. Uh, is, it blows cold, but for some reason whenever it wants to, it will stop working. This half of the car will stop working, so it wouldn't blow anything. It will be like really, I'll say probably like 80 temperature, and it wouldn't blow strong as, as this I would. And I checked on, I went and I tried checking the little uh, vent uh, motors, took them apart, you know, looked into them and whatnot. And then I figured, well, there's not a lot of info out there for these cars, for the GLs anyways. It mostly is uh, MLs. And I searched and looked and whatnot and... What I end up doing now, uh, there's a lot of comments on these units, the head unit going bad. For some reason, I didn't have any issues with the uh, keys itself. I mean, they all worked fine. Uh, except that whenever, let's say I was driving more than four hours, like most of the time that half of the car would stop working and it wouldn't blow as cold and you can feel the humidity and, and getting hot in here. And you can still hear the blower working and everything's fine, but it wouldn't, uh, it wouldn't heat up, uh, it wouldn't cold. And here in Florida, you know better, we need it. So, I uh, did some research, couldn't find anything. A lot of people were talking about the MLs, the head unit going bad and burning and whatnot. So I decided to go online get one I went on eBay and I got one uh, actually I got the whole unit just like it looks right now but I I took the piece that I needed it out because I'm gonna be doing something to this face to the other face I want to try something uh, probably do a video on that later but anyhow I'm gonna show you guys this unit here this is the one that came from the car it's a 2008 see right there where it says right here it's a 2008 unit and my car is a 2010 so they've been moving this ones uh, forward I guess that they did a few of these and they ended up using it on the newer models because at the end of the day it was still the same you know for numbers of years they were still using the same head unit for a lot of Mercedes and this one that I got is a 2009, which it was used in a 2011 ML. So, in my opinion, it's a little bit newer. So, it should, whatever issue the OIDs had, maybe they fixed it by the time, you know, it got around to the 2011 models. So, I'm, that's what I'm hoping, because, you know, 2009... I'm hoping that they, they fix whatever issues they had because I haven't heard anybody from 2011 or... I mean, there's not that many videos on 2010 having this issue. Mostly it's like, you know, 2000 models and 2003, 2004 MLs and nothing to do with the newer models. Uh, and, I'm you know, there's a few people with the GLs 2008, 2009 having this issue and nobody ever gave out an answer why it's happening so I'm doing a test run I'm gonna put this new unit on and and see how it works I mean it's pretty simple St straightforward uh, it's not that complicated uh, you got your your plugs that you gotta hook up on the back see like this ones they come like that it has like a little that you you know you press on on it and so you'll be able to move this lever you know it's a little bit hard to see you press on it see and then you release and then you can open it and take it out of the actual you know pin so you just put that back in together and then the unit itself it has like little guidelines see this this is like a guideline that will go right here Okay, and, and all you have to do to release it, it's open up your 
your cigarette train and pull it gently but pull it so it don't clicks from the bottom and then it's just a matter of on you know moving it to be able to uh, hook it back in so I'm gonna see if I could get actually see if I could get it going here uh, wait for me so, uh, I want to make sure that I put everything See I got on clicks, okay. Okay, so everything is put in back together. Now let's wiggle this thing. See if I could do it everything with my hand, sorry for the movement. It's just a matter of putting the guides right in there. So it's already lined up and all you have to do is just Lower it. Yeah, in one hand it will, it will be a little bit harder than that. Alright. Well, this, let me. See if I can set this up here. Okay, let's try this. Okay, there you go. Uh, so I clicked in, everything is on. Like that. Okay, so now I'm gonna. Try it on. Let's see. And before, before it used to, um, it used to take a little bit to cold and whatnot. So. I want to try changing temperature and see if it actually does change temperature, which it does. 